Today, we're going to look at the University of Alberta. I've already done in detail and covered the University of Alberta, how to apply for it, what is the tuition fee uh, for the university, and uh, what are the kind of courses they have. So if you've not watched that video, you can click on the link above over here and give that a watch. I have done separate videos for some universities in Canada, but now we're doing the top five universities in Canada and covering the respective scholarship for them. I've done in great detail the SDS program through which you can apply to universities in Canada. I'm going to put this link for that in the description below and you can give that a watch. Now, the one main thing I want everyone to understand who watch my video is the fact that I actually provide my guidance completely free. There's no cost to it. The purpose of these videos is giving everyone information to help them, to guide them, to select the best possible university for them and a scholarship for that respective university so they can actually study on a scholarship and actually be and have a positive impact in society. So if you need any guidance whatsoever in relation to applying for the university, applying for the scholarship, for getting your statement of entry read, I will not write the statement of entry for you. Let me make that very clear. I do not write statement of entries, but I will proofread it for you. I will check to make sure that if it's on track or not, and I will guide you and advise you according to that. So you can always drop me a message on my WhatsApp or on Facebook or on Instagram or in the section in the comment section below on YouTube and I'll try to get back to you and help you as much as I can. Today's video we're going to focus on the scholarship for University of Alberta. So without further ado, let's check that out. Like I've mentioned before and everyone that has watched my video for the uh, courses and for the university review, this is their website. Uh, ualberta.ca you will get you will go over here to get to the university website and then you'll go to admissions and programs and uh, you will have your tuition and scholarship which you're going to go to right now if you have not watched my video please do give it a watch it's in the description below so you will understand what i'm talking about and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to press the bell icon now when you get to the actual uh, uh, scholarship the uh, tuitions page over here, you'll have two informations. One, an important part of planning your studies, knowing how, knowing the tuition and the living cost, use your cost, use our cost color to plan your education. And this is what I've showed you in the video previously. I will not go into detail in this particular video for this because I've already gone in detail in regards to this in the last video. So please give that a watch if you don't know what this button is for and what the cost calculator is. And it is absolutely brilliant. We will focus today on the scholarships and awards. The University of Alberta provides millions of dollars in awards and scholarships to international students every year. Find out what you might be eligible for. So let's select this. This takes us to this particular page over here. And this is, like I said before, an absolutely beautiful website and especially the way they have actually developed it. Now, you have two different types of scholarships. The first scholarship is admission-based scholarship, which needs no applications whatsoever. Then you have your application-based scholarship. Now, let me explain to you what an admission-based scholarship is. Basically, this means that you will be eligible for a scholarship when you apply for the course, meaning you would be starting a scholarship, don't even need to apply for it. You will be evaluated for the scholarship when you apply for admissions. Your eligibility will be based on your high school admission average at the time your admission offer. We will assess you for a match to the following and many more if you're eligible for admissions based scholarship will contribute directly. Let me explain this to you. And this is something very important that every single student needs to understand. There are certain scholarships for which you actually first apply for the course and after you get admissions on the course, you apply for the scholarship. For this particular university, what they've done is that once you apply for a course, you will give them all your details, your school records, your high school diplomas, your extracurricular activities, your personal statement, which is very, very important. Based on that information, they will actually check if you're eligible or not. And if they feel that you're eligible for a scholarship, they will offer you a scholarship. Now. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is the fact that your personal statement is one of the most important document that you'll be handing to them. Everything besides the personal statement is going to be generic. Every single student's going to have it. That personal statement will be the distinguishing point for you and it has to be written by you. A lot of students think that they will get it written by someone else. but 
uh, the university is reading hundreds and hundreds of different scholarship statement of entries, uh, statements of uh, purpose of statements, and they exactly know if it's written by a person or not. And that personal statement needs to make you sound and show the university who you really are. And that will set you apart from hundreds and thousands of applications and hundreds and thousands of different statement of entries that the university tends to read. And it needs to be an honest one. It needs to cover everything that you feel is important in your life that you need to share with them. It needs to show you why you're selecting that particular uh, course and what sets you apart and why you should be given a scholarship for that to study at that university on, on, and on that course. Now, the scholarship, international admission scholarship is 5,000 Canadian dollars depending on admission average. Regional excellence is also 5,000 Canadian dollars and gold standard is also 6,000 dollars that you get for the top five university in each faculties that they get at the admission average. Now, this is basically very small in relations to what you can get, which is on the base of application based scholarship. I want to point something out. This necessarily doesn't mean you can't get both. You have to keep that in mind. You have to aim very high and you will reach if you're if you're aiming for the stars, you might land on the moon, but if you're aiming for the moon, you might never land on the stars. So you have to keep that in mind. Aim for the stars so you can land on the moon. And if you can land on the stars, I think that's what we're aiming for. Now, the application-based scholarship obviously is a presidential international distinguished scholarship. Students with superior admission average and demonstrated leadership quality entering the first year of an undergraduate program on a student visa permit could receive up to 120,000 Canadian dollars payable over four years, meaning your whole tuition is paid for, meaning you are studying completely free, meaning you're studying on a full scholarship. Now, if a student is studying on a full scholarship and they complete their course and once and even before you graduate, I can guarantee you, you'll get a job. I can guarantee you that because multinational companies are looking for students, distinguished students, standing students that stand out, outstanding students who can actually make a difference in the industry. And these are students who study on a scholarship, on a full scholarship. So definitely, definitely apply for it and you might get it. Now, the other one is an international leader scholarship. Well-rounded leaders with superior academics may receive up to 10,000 Canadian dollars. And the third one is students with a superior admission average and self-declared financial need entering their first year of an undergraduate degree uh, on a student visa permits who are Chinese or Hong Kong residents could receive up to 100,000 Canadian dollars. Now, this one over here you have to keep in mind is the fact that you have to be Chinese or have a Hong Kong resident or citizenship to apply for it. So it's not for all the students. The other two is for everyone. Now, the one main thing that I need to mention over here to all the students that watch my videos across the world for this matter is the fact that your extracurricular activities are very important that you need to have certificates for the extracurricular that you've done. You need to have certificates for different activities that you've been involved with. You do have to have certificates for different internships that you have done. You need to show the university that you have been uh, doing extra work in a particular field. By studying at that university, you'll be able to excel in, in that particular area. And that is what makes you stand out from everyone else. You have to keep that in mind. Now, moving further, I want to cover one particular aspect over here. Students with superior academics and strong intern IB diploma academic standings indicated financial needs and demonstrated leadership who will be entering the first undergraduate program from Aga Khan Academics, operating under AKA Agency of Aga Khan Development Network, who will be studying in Canada or on a visa program, received up to 53000 dollars per year for maximum four years to request more information you can contact over here this particular um, uh, scholarship is for students from pakistan so if you're in pakistan and you're applying from pakistan you can go for this particular scholarship which is up to fifty three thousand dollars not canadian dollars but us dollars so definitely if you're in pakistan do keep that in mind when you're applying for it now you have some students over here that would transfer scholarships and they also have a, uh, a option for that. So if you're coming to University of Alberta is a great choice and you want to make it worth your while. There are a number of student scholarships for students entering a professional program and transferring from other post-secondary institution 
If you're not sure what scholarship you're eligible for, no problem. You fill out a scholarship and paste on your background experience and interest will assess you for your match. All professional entrance and transfer are application based. You must apply for undergrad fair before you can apply for any transfer scholarship. Again, I will repeat this. You must apply for an undergraduate degree program. Please keep this in mind that whenever you are applying for a particular course at any university, you need to first apply for the program. Never, ever, ever make this mistake of applying for the scholarship before you will never get it. You need to first apply for the program and once you get into the program, you will be able to get the scholarship. In certain cases, only in certain cases, like for example, the Lester B. Pearson scholarship, which is for the University of Toronto, a nomination needs to be done by the school, by the college that you're studying in, in order for you to get that scholarship. You're not, you cannot apply for it directly. The university will not apply for you, but your school or college must nominate you for that particular scholarship only for the University of Toronto. And similarly, I will highlight the universities that function in this particular manner. But University of Alberta, you have to first apply for the course. Once you get accepted on the course, you might get a scholarship automatically. And if you do not get a scholarship automatically, you can apply for the application-based scholarship and you can get that. If you need any help in writing your statement of entry, please drop me a message on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Instagram, or on YouTube in the comment section below, and I will guide you and I'll help you as much as I can. Please share these videos with your friends and with your family and on your Facebook so more people can benefit from them. Until our next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.